know, I never thought I've ever come to Singapore three years ago. But looking back on the experience I came across, I would admit they were the most extraordinary three years so far in my life. Everything about life here is filled with enthusiasm. To me, this place has a lot of stories to tell. School starts very early every day. You probably have to get up around 7ish, but that's the boring part. The interesting part is when you actually go to school and you get to mingle around with people from different backgrounds and cultures. This place has people from all over Southeast Asia. You know, I've met people from Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, China and so on. And I really enjoy sharing my ideas with these people from different backgrounds. And I also enjoy forming great relationships with them. Well, in school you have the chance to experience a lot of different CC activities. This is the very interesting part for me. Well, before I come to Singapore, I never thought that I can act. But in DJ Chinese Society, I slowly pick up acting skills and I become much more confident. On the actual day, a lot of my friends came to support me. They told me that they liked my performance and they thought that it was so real and touching. I feel a sudden release from all the pressure that has been built up for months and it was one of the most memorable day of my life. So back to the boarding school, we are a small family. We care and love for each other and we even organize outings to bond ourselves. In the boarding school, we live and study together. Whenever I have questions, I will just approach my friends for help. We share our food, we cheer for the World Cup, and we relax together. Many people perceive Singapore as just a metropolis. You know, there are skyscrapers and shopping malls everywhere. However, I perceive her in a different angle. So on weekends, we we'll just go out to explore and listen to some different stories. Our adventure reaches almost every corner of the city life. In Singapore, whenever you walk down a street and you wouldn't really know what you find out in the end, sometimes you, you just bump into a lot of surprises. We went to the market at Bugis on 15th of the lunar month and there was a Buddhist ceremony going on. We could feel both the solemnity and exhilaration as we walked down the street. Next to the shop, there is a Guanyin Temple. In the morning, if you're early enough, you can see crowds of worshippers doing prayers there. It's just incredibly overwhelming. Singapore is a vastly diverse country, and you can even tell that by walking through the streets. Every street is unique and has its own story to tell. That's why, as a foreign student, I always feel a sense of exoticism around me. I mean, look around you. There are so many cultural heritage that you've never seen before. And I'm excited when I buy stuff from them, stuff that I never expect to see before. Indeed, they are my cultural souvenirs. I like to talk to different people. It makes me feel that I'm part of the rich culture and history in Singapore. Uh, the Malay culture, we will use all this for weddings. Uh, so how long have you been doing this? Oh. If you come for my generation, it's for my great-grandmother, our grandmother and my mother and now me. So it's four generations. For you. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. Like Thank you. I feel that I'm not only talking to the people, but also to the soul of this city.
So in the end, the uniqueness of being a scholar in Singapore is about feeling the city on a more down-to-earth level. About being part of this dynamic and unique culture. About appreciating and exploring the Singapore story around you. And about integrating yourself into that story.